on me, make it for count, eh? All depends on you if you catch any fish today. Boy, no signs. To your left, to your left. As far as you could reach, as far as you could reach. It's all looking stinking. Oh, true boy, nice snook master. One. That's what we're talking about, man. Thing getting on there. Take one more trolley, go by the next log. Hey, yeah, man, I think, I think. Something still bad. Nice, man. It's perfect size. Come on. Try and get some clean water. Let's record this. That's a little wave. That is rotten seaweed. That is when you're trolling that into the rotten seaweed, guys. But we have one or two baits here. It's not going for bait, too. Sorry, guys. Everything we get going for bait right now. I get bait, Mike? Yeah. Have anything else in yet? Check on that. Uh, what is it? Nah, I have no smoke. What if I cut that pool? Good. Now, what are you else thinking, boy? I really don't think that thing, boy. I have never seen so much seaweed in my life in Trinidad. Look at this. What the hell? That is a lot of seaweed. As far as the eye can see. Hello, Mr. Goat. Don't attack me. So, we're here, guys, in Manzan, in the search of bait. Or regular bait spots didn't produce anything, so this is a backup plan. I haven't been here in years. The track has been overgrown. This is through some people's backyards. Mr. Goat was just chilling there. Times of the essence, because the spot has become quite popular. So if we miss the time to go, someone will occupy the spot. Trying to avoid that. So if you catch any bait, next place you'll be seeing us is at the river. Bring things to master. Hey, yeah, whoa, whoa, something in there. Like little tapons. Snook, snook, snook. Go back, go back. Yeah, we good day. Let me load up down the road. Wait, look at me. This man catch you, boy. Kill these animals. If you catch a snook that size in your river, we good. It's good to do that, kill them. Oh, but it's too much for that now. Put them inside here, put them inside here. Damn, boy. Yes, we one. waste time, boy. Shall I come make it until we come here straight? Don't catch any more here, yeah, like too much. You got no bubble box. Guys, right here. I'm gonna use it for a bit. And I big fan till go pee, you know. You know what is that, no? All of them pregnant. Every single one. Pull up an eyelid faster, can we? More like big shrimp boy. Alright, I'm gonna throw some of these inside. Ah, I'm gonna throw that hole. Yeah. Cool, big size. Alright. They rolled the fan. Two minutes. So guys, so that's more water than I drink this morning, I just... Somebody said he catches monsters, eh? Yeah. And the big one, I know what to throw. One throw that right, Regina. How much are they? Yeah. Yeah. I think what man is it? I mean, I'll get here. 100% later. If you catch anything, it's because I... Oh, my God. 
Mantap. Hey, well, I'm gonna keep changing water in this bucket too. Because all the bacon dead. Yeah. I'm gonna have blue cast. <laughs> Using a blue cast, huh? Yeah. Man, keep on changing the water in your bucket too. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, pressure. Woo. You do what you gotta do, brother. Okay, guys, just got set up finally. Took us a good while to get bait. Each of the baits lines here have live bait, thanks to the Snoke Master. We struggled in our regular bait spot, but he took us in an old school spot that you remember when he was a toddler. So it was just about two years ago. But well, we got bait, so we set up on the riverbank. You all, most of you all know this spot already. It's become quite a popular spot. So we're gonna see what we can happen. We have about two hours. Tide falling. Kinda hard right now. But we'll see what will happen. Stay tuned guys. Fling it. Just kinda have a bite here boy. First bite, might have a small fish on here guys. Oh he got away man. Could be a chuff chuff, the mullet is bitten in half. Look like chuff chuff bite boy man. A fish? Damn boy. Fish here, can't see from this angle. Hope I don't fall long trying to watch him. Come snook master. Bring a nice little snook there, man. So many, so many. Someone, 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 nice one. Yeah. Watch it. Man, hold him up there, hold him up in your mouth. Someone can. Some food, someone. Someone, someone, can. <laughs> someone can. No boat needed. No boat needed. Nice one, Ming. Ah, boy, Ming. Nice fish. Okay guys, at this point in the video, I just want to cut and let you all know exactly what was going on and just give my thoughts on what, how the whole situation played off. Well, I'm coming from a different setting today because my wife is doing some renovations at home, so the place is in a bit of a mess. You know, she has her own YouTube channel, um, just to sell some cooking videos and stuff like that, Jenna GD Jabby TT. I'll put a link in the description below, you can check out. Um, so she's just setting up the kitchen in a better way for her to do some better quality videos. I mean, if that's her passion, I'd always say go for it. I mean, everyone should have passions. Um, I would encourage anyone, if you have a passion, to pursue it. I mean, if it requires spending some money or spending some time behind it, it is worth it. Because in this life, you know, we have go through so much stress, so much uh, hard work and stuff like that. So passions, are, passions are required to give you some form of relaxation or some form of enjoyment. Um, life can't, all, can't be all about work all the time, right? So I'm just coming at you from the office at work. Yes, I do work full time still. I still have a lot of bills to pay. So I still have to you know, do this work thing um, for the hour. Uh, maybe one day uh, things might not be as hectic. Okay, so back to the uh, explanation of what happened in the video. 
So as you can see, we had spent quite a while um, trying to catch bait. It was a struggle. Eventually, we went to one spot and we took a couple of throws and got maybe maybe 20 or 30 mullet, a couple nice size ones. And you would have seen me taking a lot of time taking care of the bait. Um, the most important thing when you have a live bait is to keep them living. So you'll see me keep on changing the water and putting fresh water into the buckets. That's to keep the oxygen going. I mean, if you don't have a bubble box or aerated pump, that's what you have to do to keep the bait living. Living, live, healthy bait is very important. So that's why I was taking my time to get that done. Um, so it maybe took us maybe close to a one and a half, maybe, maybe even two hours to get set up on the riverbank. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a spot I wanted to go back since the last video I did when the big fish got away. But like I said, I work full time, so I don't always get the time um, to make these trips. This is a Mayaro side. So eventually I, we organized, okay, we're going to get to going this day. And we organized and left early and reached up there. Struggled to get the bait, but eventually got some really good bait. Um, reached just in time before the tide. Um, fishing is also, you know, heavily dependent on the tide. Tide was falling really hard when we started to fish, but it's now starting to ease up to come to the stand standing tide which is when the fish starts to bite when the tides just start to rise. So we were in a good timing, good position. And you saw Snookmaster catch that nice salmon. So the fish are now getting a chance, we are now getting a chance to, to get into the action. A lot of people always think about, uh, have this issue with secret spots and, and you know, and people not willing to disclose their spots. Um, what happened in this trip is one of the reasons why I think, um, why I don't like to publicize uh, spots as much. Um, I think it's important to have your secret spots, especially if you're someone like me um, or like you. I think most people have a, a regular Monday to Friday day-to-day -day job and you don't have that much time to fish, maybe a weekend, every other week or every weekend if you get a chance. So when you get a chance to fish, you don't want to go to a spot and you see someone fishing the area. I mean, it's all public spaces. If someone reaches there before you, know no big thing about it, um, go try somewhere else. Um, but like I said, if you have a secret spot and you want to keep it a, a secret just for that reason, like if you have to go and you know you have limited time to fish or limited chance to fish and you want to make sure you get that opportunity to fish, that is something you have to do. I mean, sometimes, I, uh, sometimes I have to think hard about making a video in certain spots um, simply because I know the spot will become more popular um, when people see the video. I mean, and all people always ask, you know, where is this, where is that? I wish I could tell you every single time, but again, it's either I make the video and post it or don't make the video at all just to keep you know the spot available for when I have time to go so I apologize if some of these spots I won't like to disclose again it's just simply because when I get a chance to fish I want to go there and actually get a chance to fish so back to the story we had just set up I mean it took us maybe two hours to get the bait get organized and throw our lines and set up snook master just caught that night salmon uh, maybe about five or ten minutes after two uh, pickup trucks pulled into the spot, blasting music, and then you'll, you'll see the after this clip. You'll see what eventually happened after this, after they pulled up. I mean, like I said, it's a public fishing spot, but I think it's it's uh, only fair that you know you respect another fisherman if he's fishing in a particular spot. If you see someone fishing in a spot that you wanted to fish in, and you won't be able to fish comfortably, I'd say go to another spot. Um, you can always come back another day. But these guys, I mean, it was as probably as bad as you could have treated our fellow fishermen, what they did to us. Um, they definitely killed our whole fishing vibe and our whole fishing experience for that day. So take a look at what happened. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to bring more fishing footage for you. I had planned a pretty cool video. You saw we had a lot of B-roll, a lot of pre-fishing action, catching the bait and stuff like that. So it was going to be, I was shaping up to be a pretty epic video. But again, I was totally disappointed when this happened. So again, thanks for watching, guys. I mean, hope you watch out to the end of the video. Well, guys, this is why you don't give out your spots. All my lines set out here. I'm going to pull up with a kayak and a net. And I'm going to set it across the river. I expect to fish now. Oh. What do you think we're going on here, man? Not across the river. Yeah,
Misal. Och det var så där nätet. Han dog till kitchen. Vad tog mig till dip? Ja, vad det där good Ja, för jag lägger kanske allmän lane. Det är så mycket. Yeah, 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 wrap it up. Tighten the drag. Yeah. You can reach across the other way, that current will keep on pulling down and dragging it. It's full moon. After unsuccessful attempt at setting in it, kill we fishing vibes. Drinking you in the bottle. We busting it out of here, because we can't fish here no more. The menace will kill the whole fishing scene. That I now supposed to stand up before we're supposed to get the bite. Guys, today's mission proved to be a bit of a disappointment. Had high hopes of spending some quality time behind the river. So those guys came with their net and kayak and messed up everything. That's one of the reasons why I prefer not to give out spots that I fish in. Too many times I've seen nets in some of our best spots. Came here to give a try but here on low tide is not the best. But what can you do? So again guys I appreciate you guys if you watch this video to the end. Always appreciate you having on board always appreciate having you on board. Till the next episode of OSM fishing. Keep fishing. Get into the outdoors. Finally got one of these snow. Snow cram. <laughs>